When Trevor Barry dropped out of school, he looked down. And why not? Like many young men in Broken Hill back then, working in the local mines was an obvious career choice. And for 34 years, so it was for Trevor. But then one day, instead of looking down, he looked up. And what he saw changed his life forever. Today, 67-year-old Trevor is an amateur astronomer, but not just any backyard stargazer. His work, especially making discoveries about Saturn, is so good, he has NASA, the biggest space agency in the world, knocking on his door. Out here, where the desert meets the sky, in the far west of New South Wales, there's something a little unexpected taking place. Belinda. Hello, Trev. How's things? Good. Have another one. Please. Oh, I've been expecting this. No worries. NASA, America's space agency, has a franchise in Broken Hill, where their man, former local miner Trevor Barry, keeps an eye on the universe from his suburban backyard. I actually do feel that in my small way that I'm adding to our knowledge of the solar system. Trevor is an amateur astronomer who's made it his mission to learn as much as he can about our extraterrestrial neighbours. Our neighbourhood, over the back fence, is Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. They're really close by. Like, that's a cut lunch and a bottle of water and you're there sort of thing. We have to know our own backyard. What started as a hobby quickly turned into an obsession for the planet Saturn. With very few pennies but plenty of passion, he built a telescope. And then using whatever he could find, including old washing machine parts, he built an observatory. An amateur astronomer in Australia Trevor's dedication and his extraordinary pictures didn't go unnoticed. In Western New South Wales. And in 2008, NASA announced he was on their team. I'm now involved with NASA. Can you believe that? Trevor uh, is doing what we had to do before there were spacecraft. Caroline Porco is known as Madame Saturn an acclaimed planetary scientist who was contracted by NASA to develop and then lead the imaging science investigation on the Cassini mission, a deep space exploration of Saturn that recognised Trevor's work. Trevor has looked at Saturn in, at times, even during the Cassini mission, when we couldn't look at it. So he's an extra pair of eyes. He's an extra pair of eyes that can stay on a body like Saturn almost continuously and he uh, has provided valuable information. This is like a good night out at the movies, Trevor. Well, open air theatre is. <laughs> Broken Hill is on the edge of the outback. Its clear skies a dream for astronomers. When you look up, what does it make you feel? What does it make me feel? Insignificant. Really? Yeah. But Trevor hadn't even noticed the wide blue yonder until 20 years ago, when a mate got him to look through a telescope. And when he did, it was love at first sight. Like most of the population, I didn't look up. You know, too occupied with other things. Looking down. Looking down, exactly. And then he pointed out this just point of light and that's what we're going to look at. And I thought, oh, good o. Good o. And I looked and, and there was Saturn, you know. And I thought, there's got to be a photo. This can't be real, you know. And I wandered around, had a look to see, you know, where the photo was. But... You thought he was taking... Oh, taking the mickey out of me, I thought. So something happened within you. Oh, it did, yes. Like, I'd had an epiphany, you know, like, it was just... Well, it just 
moved me to see stuff like that. And he's been bitten by the bug ever since. Before Saturn ran rings around her husband, Cheryl Barry was Trevor's main interest. They met at school and married soon after. But that first night he saw Saturn, Trevor was so enamoured, he was late meeting his wife. I really lost track of time. I was seeing, uh, you know, globular star clusters. Didn't even know what one of them was. You know, but they look good. Oh, well, it was you know, clearly time to go and pick up the gorgeous and adorable <laughs> from, from her mum's. And when you go and pick up the gorgeous and adorable? Oh, well, I was a bit worried. <laughs> This epiphany led Trevor down a path he'd never believed possible. At 51, he enrolled to study astronomy at university. I knew nobody that went to university. It just was not an option. What a wake-up call. You know, all these people, they already had degrees in different fields. There was a guy who commissioned nucle uh, nuclear submarines for the American uh, Navy. There was another guy in England who he used to be a British Airways captain. He had flown the Concorde. You know, I'm thinking, uh, what have I got myself into here? And I said, well, you know, I'm Trev and I'm an ex-mine worker from Broken Hill. And I'm thinking, how am I going to fare with these people? But Trevor needn't have worried. He topped the class. It would be the beginning of many nights spending hours venturing deep into space. That is Saturn. That is the love of your life. Oh, <laughs> it's just amazing. And it's amazing to look at that. I didn't realise I could see it with the naked yeah. eye. Um, so when you saw Saturn like that... <laughs> changed my life. Oh, your heart went pit a pat I did. Oh, my God. It is such a stunning sight. It's the rings, isn't it? Ah, oh, it is. That is beautiful. It is. But it's inside Trevor's observatory where the best views are. This is the best data that I've recorded on Saturn. This will make a stunning colour image. Despite Trevor's NASA fame... Showed you how to bowl it. Oh. <laughs> he and Cheryl are very much a grounded couple. Two, three frogs. Broken Hill has always been their home, where they're also the local lawn bowling champions. But Cheryl admits there have been some dramatic changes. This used to be your territory. Used to be. It still is to Saturn and Jupiter getting into the line. <laughs> and if they happen to have any branches, my husband sort of comes out with shears and loppers and as you can see, I'm missing half a tree. He lops the trees mm. for his views. Yes. He comes out and then he goes back into his dome and comes back out and <laughs> says, that branch is in the way and it loses its Bang, head. you've mm. lost it. Yes. He's very hard to put up with at times, especially at four o'clock in the morning when he gets out of bed as it's quite mouse, he tells me. Why don't, you, why don't you put a bed in there? I've thought of that, yeah. <laughs> I have thought of that. <laughs> Trevor's Sorry. observatory is now a permanent fixture, and so too is his commitment to NASA. Trevor was one of the first to record these white lights, pictures depicting massive electric storms on Saturn. I hadn't seen anything like that previously. But you knew it was a storm? Yes, my university techs told me that in the previous 200 years there'd only been five Electrical storms on Saturn. visible from, mm. recorded from, from Earth. Trevor now has a secret password to upload his data to NASA. An extraordinary nod from the American Space Agency he's always wanted to visit. That is just slightly different to Broken Hill, <laughs> I've noticed. I've never seen so many billboards in all of my life. And that's where we're headed to today. Trevor has travelled more than 12,000 kilometres to come here. The Eagle has landed. To NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. Welcome to our universe. I love it. Hello. <laughs> the great Trevor Barry. Nice to meet you. 
What an absolute honour. And waiting to absolute greet him. Mine too, mine too. So, welcome to JPL. Is Madame Saturn herself, <laughs> Caroline Porco. It must really give you such a jolt to feel that your work, that you obviously love so much, and believe me, I understand it, um, is useful to professional scientists. I love that. Yeah. Gives me a meaning to my life. Of course it does. Of course it does. That's why we do it too. For Trevor, coming to NASA is like being in Disneyland. Obsession of my life for the last 27 years. Seeing from where so many of our space odysseys emerged, including the Cassini orbiter. Okay, so this is mission control. And the nerve center for NASA's explorations, mission control. And the data go directly to an antenna with a transmitter. Trevor and I are kindred souls because we're both moved by the desire to know about the universe around us. And Trevor, how is it being here at NASA? <laughs> Hang on, I just, no, I am here. <laughs> That's, I've died and gone to heaven. Are you just glad that you took up that offer to go and have a little peek through that telescope? I am. Like, it sounds corny to say, you know, something happens in your life to change your life, but it's pretty fair to say that astronomy has changed, you know, my life. My, di my direction has changed, you know, like it's a passion of mine that I do, but I'm driven you know, to, to do what I do and to improve what I do. Is there one question you need an answer to? The lotto numbers next week. <laughs> <laughs> then the observatory, Cheryl's garden would be slashed and burnt. The observatory would get Bigger, trust me. Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.